A group of graduates walking this weekend is taking steps away from addiction, away from trauma, away from old ways of living. They are stepping into a future that sure is brighter than it was two or three years ago when they first walked into Stout Street Foundation's residential addiction treatment program in Denver. It wasn't easy. It was not an easy journey, but it was definitely worth it. Oh wait, let's move the trash can out of My name is Samantha Alton. <laughs> I've been sober, it will be three years, September 4th. Get in there, Ken! My name is uh, Jason Dearmore, and I've been sober almost three years. So I was 19 when I started using. I was addicted to heroin, I was addicted to meth, and I was addicted to cocaine. I kind of dabbled in everything, but methamphetamines was my main addiction. That life for me was, um, it was hell. This was before my son knew about my addiction. Yeah, I don't like to look at it. I don't share those memories. Those are memories I don't share. I'd rather just delete them. Here's one of me and my addiction. When you're struggling and you know in your heart of hearts that this is something you don't want to do, but you continuously do it, it breaks you down over and over again. And so it's a difficult process to fully get clean and sober. And then in 2019, I realized that this wasn't the life I wanted to live anymore. I realized that if I keep living this way, I was gonna die. And I didn't want that. We're losing so many people before they even get a chance to get in recovery. We're losing good, decent people that just need to find their walk on recovery. One of my biggest accomplishments is getting clean and sober and staying that way. Stout Street's my home. I love this place. It was a difficult journey. I mean, I went through this place three different times. Recovery is a choice that you make every day. It's a choice that you wake up and you make every day. And I am so glad that I decided to make that choice and that I still decide to make that choice every day. It's a beautiful thing to know that I have the rest of my life ahead of me and I don't ever have to look back. And next time we think about addiction in our community, think about the strength and perseverance of those folks.